Chinese trademark. <laughs> well, how do that chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and this week I am joined by Ninja Dojo Boy, the fire of creation. It's John. Hello there, John. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is going to be this week, to... John? Oh, build an outpost. Why not? <laughs> an outpost? You need Bobbies. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've got Bobby yeah, here yeah. in voice, but Sorry, not in person. Bobby. <laughs> so, Bobby, what do you think is going to be this week, mate? I think uh, spam it. Cattle. You what? Stranded cattle. Stranded oh, cattle. stranded cattle. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, we've got Mr. Cattle here. Mr. Cattle, what do you think is going to be this week, mate? I think it's going to be lease a new truck. Lease a new truck, yeah, because Bobby didn't do too well with that in real life, did he? No. If you don't know, Bobby and Kettle are married in real life. So here we go. So, Kettle. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it's going to be then, Kettle? Uh, kill hazardous plants. Kill hazardous bobbies. Right, yeah. there we go. Yeah. <laughs> and we've that, was got... last, that was last week. It probably was. It could happen yeah. again. It, we've had it happen twice in a row. Yeah. Hello there, Miyogi. What do you think is going to be this week, mate? I think it's going to be my deferred, and that's uh, get the get the creatures. Ah, oh, so give me the, the poop. Tame wild fauna or pick That's up where I've got poop. the blob. I'm holding the blob. Um, Hello, there are people in the there universe. Is literally nothing universe. in your hand. Oh, another bug. There you go. I can make it look like oh. there's an emote of me with a double thumbs up in your hand. But yeah, that's, that's about it. But okay, what do you think? Oh yeah, tame fauna. I'm going to go with dig up ancient bones then. Now, before we get into things, people, too much, it's actually Miyogi's birthday. So, do you want to show, show, show we get our musical instruments ready? There's me on the harmonica. There's John Dojo Banjo Boy, or whatever his name is, on the bongos. Yeah, bongos, people. There he is. Look at that. We've also got Kettle, and you're playing a saw, aren't you, Kettle? Yes. You be careful of your pinkies, yeah. mate. Don't you end up losing the pinky. So here we go. Oh. Happy birthday. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday to me! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to me! Yeah! <laughs> there we go. Happy birthday, Miyogi. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for Sweet. your delectations. <laughs> Sorry, Bob, I couldn't find the harp in time. It's here somewhere. Worst, <laughs> worst X Factor routine ever. <laughs> I think someone's allergic to our musical prowess. I can hear yeah. someone sneezing. <laughs> yeah, I think there's blood coming out of her ears. Oh, bless. It's, it's nice when you can affect a crowd with your musical talents. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Ed. I would love the brandy. Thank you, Jim Kosaka, mm. for your wonderful wishes. <laughs> Yeah, old explorers saying happy birthday as well. Jam, yeah, and Ed, happy birthday, Miyogi. Yeah, cool, yeah. How about a USA meetup? Oh, that's a little bit too far for me to walk, to be honest. In Pennsylvania? Is that where they make <laughs> pencils? Is that where they no, make all the pencils? That's where Bo that was Bobby's idea, isn't it? I can tell it's Bobby's idea because he lives there. It's Corvax Cal, actually. Yeah. Is it? Oh, there's two of you out there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I know Survival Bob did one a, a previous year. Could be one. Yeah. Do they have vampires? That's what I want to know. Do they allow vampires? Oh, yeah, pen Pennsylvania. Oh. Yes, yeah, in rather than have fangs, they've just got pencils sticking out their faces. Yeah, yeah. yeah it could be. Oh, could sneaky. Well be. Oh, Miyogi just put up a gifted membership, and who was lucky I enough was to get it? I was give, I was give a gift back Ed. on my birthday. <laughs> there you go, Ed. You're welcome to memberships, and thank you, Miyogi, for gifting it. Oh, Here we go. Ed got it. Oh, wonderful. Oh, okay. really? Yeah. Ed got it. So it's Unearth Ancient Bones. I was right. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. Sweet. I was right. It makes a change. Freaking John Dojo Boy Ninja Man gets it nearly every week. <laughs> <laughs> go on then. There we are. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Digging up oh. ancient bones. Oh, people, you see I've got my custom explorer there. 
I've checked it with Kettle and Don John, and yeah, whatever his name is, and, and they, 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 they all Don see Juan. it. They all see it as the right colours now. It's no longer blue, so maybe the latest round of patches have fixed the colour no. issues. No, no, they well, haven't. No. Those are my ships, still the wrong colour. Because Kettle's, Kettle's oh. are still wrong. Yeah. Oh, okay. You got lucky. I, got I lucky. think it's certain parts. I think yeah. it's certain parts. Yeah. yeah. Maybe just has to bed in for a, a yeah, couple mine. of weeks, doesn't it? The whole bug is my parts oh. in particular. Dang it, that's. I, I'd, I'd see. I'd see a doctor about that kettle. Well, yeah. <laughs> if, your parts, if your parts are suddenly the wrong colour, like... probably better than being bright red, I suppose. Worrying that is. I was watching a documentary about these worms that get inside snails, and you know the antennas of the snails. Oh, it make, no. makes them go like little disco lights, and it takes over them, and it turns them oh. into like zombie snails. It's, it's freaking horrific, but they look so colourful and wonderful. Yes. All uh, things bright and beautiful. <laughs> oh, God creatures made them all. Oh, my days. All things <laughs> bright <laughs> and beautiful. Nature's <laughs> bastard, isn't it? It can <laughs> be, yes. <laughs> it's really nasty. I mean, there's that fungus that does the same thing to ants, isn't there? Yeah, and Makes the heads pop tr- off at the end. Yeah. Don't they? <laughs> yeah the, like oh, zombie oh, ants. Oh, it's freaking weirdness. Mm. Oh, yeah, we've got a double pigeon, a diplo, and a boating and boat face. So the first four. Followed by Bounce. a TP wigwam or a. Uh, oh, and an eagle, a sunset. Uh, a clip, sorry. And another pigeon. Then we've got a rocket, a reflection, an eclipse, and a dragonfly. There we go. Right. Natural burial site. Well, we don't have to go speak to anybody on this. We just head to the planet and start digging. Right. Let's go get those bones. So you got some lovely stuff for your birthday then. You got a Yoda card from your mum. What else did yeah. you get? A Yoda jigsaw from my Difa's Animal Legacy. A Buddha with calf of candles. A skeleton Ow. card from my sister. We're holding a lighter, some sort of a symbol of huh? death. <laughs> that, I put, uh, that I'm nearly at the end. Uh, a clothes made an offer and uh, a vape. And uh, what else did I get? Uh, money off mother. <laughs> well, that's cool. <laughs> I thought you said you had a skeleton card from your sister. <laughs> yes, I thought, well, that's, that's a bit <laughs> painful. <laughs> As you put on it, it should soon be a pensioner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my sister has a wild wiki sense. That's why I love you guys. Just, You've got just the same view, but... <laughs> Here's looking to your bus pass. Yeah, how, many year, how many years until you get your bus pass, then? <laughs> they, still, they still do that? <laughs> yes. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's yeah. I think when you get, like, is it 70? Yeah, I, I don't know. They put the retirement age up every year. So in theory, you can I never get there. Yeah. My mum and dad are so. I got loads. Of, I got loads. Where I am. What pensioners? Or bus yeah. passes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to. Well, ancient bones, close enough. <laughs> 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 don't talk about Miyogi like that. It's not real. Embos, embos, dry bones, embos, embos. Well, he did just get a skeleton. He got a whole cluster of bones, by the sounds of things. <laughs> your your sister hasn't been out grave robbing, has she? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I was trying to think what the one was last year. That was some sort of warped minded card. We tried to technically weaponize them. <laughs> <laughs> This is awful, oh. round here. There's no bones. It's very stormy, got... isn't it? Yeah, yeah I, had to, I had to go somewhere else, Kettle, because there was no none I, showing for me. I got loads. Yeah. I just got yeah, a jawbone. Just got but an it's doing that, bone. It's doing that annoying thing one. where they're 200 yards from each other. Each yeah. Time, 200 units away from each other. Um, I, I've got a whole cluster of beer, so I just got... I think I just got six oh, in oh, one oh, hole. I just, oh, I just landed on a load of them. But I'm not going to be able to get there by the time. Uh, it's, uh, oh. it's going to be finished probably in a second. No. I got a new, need new number four yet. 600. Oh, no. Uh, I've got loads. I've got loads here. All right. Okay, cool. Well, there's one 92. Oh, I've been eating. We only need two more, apparently. Well, there's a knowledge stone well, here. Let's hit that up. I think I'm there. Only one more required. I'm not going to oh, get yeah. to it before, am I? I just learned the Viking word for battery. Yeah. Right. Do you know the Viking word for assault does it, yet? Does it start for uh, does it yeah, start with a gra by any chance? Yeah. Yeah, we're done. We're done. Yeah, got two. Wow. 
Sweet. Yeah, yeah, we're A bit done. more of a challenge in solo, though, isn't it? <laughs> now we're going to have to take these bones to get a sample. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Assuming that somebody will actually accept them. Oh, yeah. It's now just popped. Yeah. Yeah, just initiated a scan. Where is it? There we go. Dream a dream. Oh, pretty stormy planet. Yeah. Bit manky down there, isn't it? Oh, there's a break in the clouds and fly through that. You doing anything this weekend for your birthday, Miyogi? Going out anywhere? Yeah, I, I, I'll par I might party like it's 1999, but I did that. Uh, so I don't know. I just let it go with the flow. Yeah, cool. uh, yeah, I think I'll go around the village ne uh, tomorrow and give my little gifts. I didn't do it today. So I'll do Although I did. I went Who to landed the on him? Me. I went to the village. Yeah, village mm -hmm. <laughs> I went to the, I went to the village pantry and gave out two whisks. <laughs> I ended up with three whisks. So I thought the sods could have two whisks. Get rid of the back to my I hope you I hope you go out and have a bit of fun anyway if you do manage to escape. Oh, thank you, so yeah I will do so. Pennsylvania is the pretzel capital of the world. Is you it? sure? Is it? He's on the Google now. He's going to check that. I think there's a lot of coal mining. I don't know about. Pre I know the press pretzel mining as well. Yeah, some, some one of the presses choked on one. I thought pretzels were a European thing. Well, they're North American. 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 Well, yeah, I still here. Have you got any pretzels? No, not army. Oh, I must be a liar then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love pretzels, I must admit. Hold on, it says here that Reading is the pretzel capital of the world. I think they're lying. <laughs> you sure that's not Reading in Pennsylvania? Because I've been to Reading, there's just nothing much there. Yeah. Apart from a lot of dodgy roads. <laughs> well, this is like Berkshire. And Alex Autos as well on what, YouTube. I don't know why that tickled me. I think, I think they're lying. <laughs> I always bugger up the roundabouts when I come out to the eighth. Um, <laughs> when I try to go around there. I thought Wisconsin over in America was good for its pretzels and cheese and all that sort of thing. Wisconsin. Well, I don't know about that one. Yeah. Okay, Pennsylvania is known for the Declaration of Independence. The right. Liberty Bell, it's Amish, Amish Liberty counties. Bell, was that in Philadelphia? It's yeah. Philadelphia in Pennsylvania. I was thinking it was a different state. Ooh. Rolling Mountains and Hershey's Chocolate. Ah, I see, Hershey's uh, have got a lot to do with pretzels, haven't they? Is that the one that tastes like a uh, puke, or is that just... Hershey's Chocolate, yeah, it's not a patch on Cadbury's, is it? <laughs> Probably going to get in trouble for that, <laughs> from all the Hershey's. No, I think even America's admit to that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do like Hershey's chocolate, but after you've had Cadbury's, you're like, that's foul. Yeah. And it's bloody expensive over here as well. That's Wis the only problem, isn't it? Wisconsin is cheese. I'm sure Wisconsin is known for their pretzels, cheese, uh, fishing in ice holes, and Ooh. hunting. They do quite a lot in Wisconsin, really. Mm. Uh, I went to Cheddar the other day. They're quite famous for cheese. In the Cheddar Gorge? Yeah. Oh, lovely. That's quite. Is that oh, near Bobby, you? Is, gone. is that near? Oh, Bobby. Uh, oh, about, oh. about three quarters away, something like that. Oh, okay. Hour and a half away. It's not too bad. Okay, cool. I, I do want to go visit there one day. I think yeah. Ivy would love it. It's sort of like Ed West. Go past Stonehenge, and it's about another fifty miles from there. Oh, okay, fair enough. Well, yeah. I mean, Stonehenge. I pass that on the way to Oxford and stuff. So yeah, it's not too bad. Hey, do you? Where were you coming from? Northampton. You are, are seriously gonna... bloody lost if you go past Stonehenge on the way to Oxford. No. <laughs> you are. You are, are gonna... seriously bloody lost. Are we really? doing another? Uh, oh are yes. We doing another mission. 
Maybe it's just a really crap house then that I drive past and I thought it was... There's no... Yeah, I thought you were going to pick someone's house for Stone End. <laughs> <laughs> you drive down the A46, you get on the M40, uh, oh, those M40 and then you're not going to worry. massive. <laughs> yeah. Why haven't they placed them on top yeah, of one another? If like you're that? on the A303 near Stone End, you are seriously lost, mate. Well, we go past it on the way to Oxford and to uh, <laughs> Guildford. When we go to Guildford, we go past no, Stonehenge. No, again, it's the wrong side of the country. What? So yeah, what the fudge be... have I been driving past then? I don't know, but it's not Stonehenge. I'm fairly Stonehenge sure it you. is. <laughs> it's 30 miles from my house, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I drove past it about twice so far this week, but no, it's, it's no, no, no. You definitely haven't <laughs> driven past Stonehenge. <laughs> really? We, Google we Maps Stonehenge and we'll see where it is. Oh my god. <laughs> How do I drive past it? How far does it come to What What lunch really to use is it? <laughs> oh, it's a really topical episode this week, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> do you drive past Stonehenge? <laughs> it's the geography episode. <laughs> Up the A4, uh, down the A43, <laughs> then one junction of the M10, uh, the M40. Uh, do you do don't you come off it there, don't you? Don't do any of the A34 after that for Oxford. Bam, bam, bam. Let's have a look. Stonehenge. Where was Stonehenge? It's near the A A three oh three. A three oh three drives right next to it, and every yeah. bugger slows down to look at it. Um, I mean, that's one of the main roads that, down to your part of the world, isn't it? No. Down the A thirty, that way, man. Uh, oh yeah, A three nine maybe. Place. Oh, the A thirty nine, the A thirty. Um, yeah, yeah. Ironically, the A30 goes through Winchester as well. That's a very long road, that is. Mm. Amazingly long road, the A30. How to get to Stonehenge from Oxford? Uh, you drive down the A34, <laughs> then turn oh right God. down the A303. <laughs> Unless you go across country somewhere. <laughs> Lads. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, Google Maps go. has nothing on us. You know, is, us Brits is... don't use Google Maps or, or anything else. We, we use, like... we use well, well, you go, you go across country, logic. really. You cut, a, you cut a bit out and go across country, but I mean... You... I, I'm fairly sure I've driven past Stonehenge to go to Oxford. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure you haven't. I mean, you, you weren't driving down to see Wolfie, then driving back in after, were you? No, I just... Oh, OK. This is weird, because you can actually see it from the road. Yeah, yeah. you can. You must yeah. have gone somewhere else. 70, Stonehenge is located 70 miles away from Oxford. Yeah, towards Northampton. No, not towards Northampton, <laughs> towards Cornwall. <laughs> if you go to Oxford and sort of aim at Cornwall... Well, I've definitely sort of walked towards... past it. Oh, oh yes, yeah, you probably have. No, but... it's, near Sal it's near Salisbury. Salisbury, yeah. 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 Uh... Salisbury in Wiltshire. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe <laughs> we're going places. Maybe we're going to get. Are we? Are, down we well. are we doing? Are we doing another mission? Oh yeah, no, that's what I was doing. Some lie, man. Oh, right. For fuck's yeah. sake! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was doing. Listen, this is fascinating. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. We're doing another mission, people. Right, kind of. Right. Bunch of guys. Right. 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 <laughs> Read the tactical <laughs> nuclear warhead. <laughs> yeah, you'd be really good as a Russian bomb in England, wouldn't you? Oh, dear me. Got the a bomb Oxford, it's near Stonehenge. Freaking GPS shite people in the VRs. <laughs> no, it's fascinating. I just got hit by a bloody spaceship. <laughs> Is that me? Yeah. yeah it's probably me, sorry. Ship, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, dear. Well, that's, what, that's why it's called a runner. You yeah, run people yeah, over, yeah. Isn't it? yeah. Got me good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh dear. <sighs> Here we go. Captain yeah, Steve was cool. driving to London and ended up in Italy. That could happen! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, go to Cheddar. Very nice. Cheddar Gorge and that. Look yeah. out for the goats. Yeah, oh god, yeah, yeah. Buy some yeah. cheese. Some very expensive cheese, but very nice cheese. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fudge? Jubby the Vile says Cabris is good. Hershey's converted to another product. The magical herb, a production facility in Canada for a few years. They lost money and are going back to chocolate again now. They should combine those two together. That might be interesting. Well, doesn't isn't Cadbury's owned by Hershey now? Uh, I don't know. Are they? I think it was, oh, I it's think like big so. corporations own everything, don't really? they? So. Okay. I think Ooh. so. That yeah, because they sold. Yeah, we don't own Cadbury's anymore. God. No longer British. 
I mean, they're, they're, yeah, they're, when he that's started why you that, got all the stupid. That's why you got all the stupid flavors and stuff now, like all the added rubbish. Yeah. When he, when he started that, didn't he? he actually made a village for his workers to live in? A little yeah. model village out. No, I think yeah. you're getting yeah. confused with Willy Wonka. He had these little orange no. guys. No, Cadbury's no. had his own town. Cadbury's. For his workers. Seriously? Yeah, uh, he, was uh, a, he was actually quite a progressive uh, employer for the day. Uh, Is it near Stonehenge? <laughs> <laughs> what, you mean just outside oh, Oxford? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 oh, dear. <laughs> So did Mr. Lever of the Lever Brothers. He he did a, he did some sort of a village or anything for his community. <laughs> what the hell is that park here? There's nothing here. Cuts out miles away. It's a yeah. lake. lake. Yeah. Life for a building, why not? It's quite it's a nice to... planet oh, as far as like, ice planets go. Oh well, yeah. Uh -huh. very... I am at Where's the building. Me? Yeah. Uh, what colour are you? Ah. Oh, they've got, got nothing to do with the building. building. This, this is going to give us the location of where to go, I think, isn't it? Oh, better get a good gun out. Slap Ooh, we got podium. bird. We got bird beat Stevie's here. Okay, oh, so it's not deposit. Something just hit me. Yeah, it's big, like, T Rex -y creatures things. here. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I just shot him and he'd, he'd done some break dancing as he flew through the air. <laughs> oh, oh, there Christ. it is. You sod. They're all dead. Ah, they're all, man, they're all right. dead, Dave. Right. Let's head over this way. Break yourself. Right. Um, Where are we going? I'm trying to figure out which way we're going. Oh, it says I'm still to go over that way. There's oh, flying pink balls. Unicorns fly jumping on rainbows. Oh, there pink, he is. Pink fluffy depots. <laughs> pink fluffy oh, unicorns oh, it's, dancing it's down on there. rainbows. What is it? Here we are. Let's go. Oh, God. Okay. It's obviously not working for me. Yeah, is it working? Is this the place? The kettle treated it's us to that here worm earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Some sentinels, but no, oh, this is like it's oh, I've got to go something. back to the same sodden building, it's obviously not working for me. The sentinels, but no pillar. We were supposed to be doing a depot anyway. Ah, it's completed. Yeah, it's completed just, already. I just shot the heck out of it. Oh, I've got no idea. I still <laughs> well, that, was, that was pretty dull, wasn't it? Like, <laughs> uh, I, just, I just did it. I blew up the depot. It's done. Hmm. It's still telling me to go to somewhere. Pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. Oh, yes! It's still uh, telling me to go somewhere as well. Yeah, it's still telling me to go to the depot. Really? It says depot's destroyed. I think we've got to. Well, no, to the, the compromise facility, now. I've got to go there. I did that. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it just says return to space. Now it says depot me. located, and now I'm getting the music for Mission Complete. There we go. That yeah. really took some time. Yeah, I've done it. I it's working was, perfectly. I did the whole mission on my own, pretty much. You guys were just there as like uh, I would say. Like, I, I got I got there candy. just after. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even really see you guys. What's that stuff you take to vomit? Uh, <laughs> castor oil. My mum was cooking. Yeah. Oh, oh man, you can't say that about your mother's cooking. <laughs> We're not eye candy, that's, eye your mum's cooking. That's sacrilege, yeah. that is. Complete man, mission, man. lovely jubbly. <laughs> nah, sure, my mum's cooking is a bit hit and miss. You know, sometimes it, oh. it can be like Sometimes she hits you with it, sometimes she misses you with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, most of the time, I'd say 90% of the time it's actually good. It's only when she decides that she's going to experiment and does something Oh weird. yeah, but you'll cock that up the first time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think I've done that too. It's like that cheese toast yeah. that I made the other yeah, week. Yeah, primitive cheese spread and the cheese toast. <laughs> I, I was like... American, yeah. American cheese. I, I, I was yeah. trying to blind myself at that point. <laughs> <laughs> and Amer oh, yeah, and, Amer and plastic cheese, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh man, well, the, uh, that you're place. normally shaking like I've never even thought about putting primitive cheese spread in a, uh, a toasty, to be honest. Well, well that plastic never cheese even thought of doing that. slice, I just found it in the fridge on its own. Just that <laughs> one slice. <laughs> Now, the last time we had those slices was either when we'd done a barbecue the year before. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Man. oh when, uh, man! When I had... No, it was growing legs, it was new life for oh, No, to it's, be, not, it's not real cheese, is it? It just lasts forever. No. I think, I yeah, you, yeah, I think it probably lasts longer than cockroaches. 
Mm -hmm. yeah. that, there, there could be a holocaust yeah. and there'd just be yeah just be cheese. american american cheese slices yeah cheese there's and bun twinkies there's bunkers left. made it. out of cheese oh yeah. twinkies yeah. are sad oh they're horrible man. Oh, i think i, I tried like one once they're a bit weird oh i like them oh. it's like shaving know. foam isn't it and a sponge yeah oh, lovely. it's gross yeah oh, it's got that's all what do you mean gross it's america <laughs> yeah. it's, it's amazing it's horrible twinkies oh are God. horrible man they're sad a bit messy Definitely got, um, what are those ones, those other ones they like? Oh, Peanut butter and devil, jelly. Devil dogs. What's a devil, devil dog? dog? Devil oh, dogs, basically. That, like, um, like our cat plays many dogs. Sorry, the dark laws ring you. I think it's my sister. Like, I'm just going to go quiet for a second. Like an birthday you, wishes. Sorry, right. mate. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. Are they like corn dogs? Are they like um, hot dogs oh, cool. dipped no, in like, batter? And, yeah. They're like, um, they're like uh, Cadbury's mini rolls. All right. Well, they're not actually. They they look like um, oh, oh. What do they look like? It's just basically like a sponge cake, but in the shape of like, like a soap bar, <laughs> cut an half with cream in. You're not selling but, yeah. it, to be honest. It sounds, no, no, they're it they're, they're, they're naff. That's they're naff, like a, yeah. a weird <laughs> shaped Twinkie, to be honest. But, yeah. cool. I, They've I'm got in... loads of different kinds of Pringles, though. <laughs> Oh, they? Nice. Yeah, my, my mate sent me a box once, and I I had like thirty different flavors of stuff. The Not majority the of it was ranch, though. <laughs> Some variant of ranch. Oh, that's John. Yeah. There he goes. It's weird how different countries got different tastes. I mean, you look mm. at some of the, the Japanese uh, food tastes in there, and their oh, Kit crisps Kats. and that are very weird. They're Kit Kats. Oh, they got loads in Japan, don't they? Yeah. You get wasabi Kit Kats and things like that. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. God. Wasabi flavored <laughs> yeah. Kit Kat. You have a lot. Yeah. yeah. No, I've had yeah. one. I've had one of those, and I've had, um, you can get the strawberry Kit Kats over here now. Yeah, but, strawberry um, ones are nice. That, sound, that yeah. sounds nice, yeah. I just like the cookies yeah. and cream Kit Kat, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. they're nice. Yeah, they're no. good. I'm in camera yeah, mode, because got... frickin' oh, the yeah. screen is shaking like anything right now. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah. It's alright over here. It's normally when right. a solar ship's in here, or a living ship, isn't it? I don't know why mm. it's shaking so badly. Mm. Weird. Oh, yeah, because it's on the stream. Yeah. Mm. Um, what do you guys want to do then? Um, I'm thinking... You want to go, go up to the chairs and have a chat about what's coming? Like yeah, I can ideas do. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead on up there. Let's have a little chat. Yeah, I'll get me up. At least I can stay in camera mode and the screen stops shaking up here anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's like a rock concert in here. It, it's annoying, That's fine it? for me. It's all great. Ah. Oh, what all right. are you doing? I went into camera mode and it made me look like a fish out of water for a yeah, second. Yeah, you stood up a bit strange. Yeah. I'm back. I've taken, I've, taken my cape is, I've taken my cape is now totally visible with the last uh, update. No, no, it's not. You've we're got up a, on a, got a standard We're up on the chairs, Mioji, all right? Mm. We're up on the chairs near the... Um, oh, right, sorry. Sorry, yes. Yeah. You, I, was, I thought it was the Dark Lord trying to... Uh, oh, there's a gluey ball here. I thought it was Dark Lord pursuing me. No, it was my sister trying to pursue me with death. <laughs> oh, God, <yeah>. Cake or death? <laughs> Cake or death? You've oh, not that's seen that, that Cake Eddie, that's Eddie Izzard. Eddie, Iz Eddie Izzard. Yeah. Cake or death? <laughs> uh, cake, please. Oh, well, well, we're nearly out of cake. <laughs> <laughs> so it's death for you. Yeah. Oh, oh no. She's... I'll have the fish. You again. <laughs> we've got Dr. Pong in the house, and we've also got Sword in the house. So Sword and Dr. Pong are both content creators. They both do No Man's Sky, along with other games. Check them both out. They're awesome. Uh, Sword sort of started YouTube around the same time as me, I think. Yeah, we used to be on the Cobra hmm. TV show together. We go back in miles of me and Sword. It's always nice to see Sword inside of the live chat. Welcome there, Sword. Salute Mondo, mate. Good to see you, sir. Steve's got the cheese touch. Well, yeah. Uh, I don't it's think I should have used that slice because it was either from a barbecue <laughs> one year ago or from a rustler. Um, yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. Uh, you did redeem yourself, though. You With the second one. Yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that looked all right. But yeah, that melted nice. That that was that was one of my normal ones. That's how they usually come out. I was be I was, I was just trying to put in an extra cheese and be clever with the first one to compete with Ramsay. I should have just kept it simple. You know. I forgot those bags even existed. They're cool, aren't they? I just yeah. got a sandwich toaster, so I just shoved them in a sandwich toaster. Uh, yeah. Oh, I got rid of my sandwich toaster. Uh, I think I gave it yeah, to and then you sister. see a cheese and pickle sandwich. 
yeah. toasted and the sandwich toast and you think, oh, I've got to go and buy one. One of those little cheese press ones, like a toasty oh, yeah. maker. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like putting baked beans and grated cheese in mine if I use that. Yeah, oh, nice. that's what, in, in, in bread? Yeah. yeah. That's got to burn the crap out of your mouth, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, you have to wait for it to cool down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, a lot, yeah, because mm. pickle's really nasty in that. Mm. In a to sandwich toast of it, or oh, cheese and onion, cheese and, and Branston pickle, or oh, lovely sandwich toasters. Anyways, moving on from <laughs> cheese <laughs> toasties. Sorry, back to that. Yeah. So this let's talk year, about Stonehenge. <laughs> 20, no, no, let's not do that. No, that's Stonehenge just outside rocks. Swansea. It rocks, Steve. It's, it's right rocks. near it's Oxford. Rock, rock. Right. <laughs> Oh, okay. Just down the road, yeah, I pass yeah. it every day. <laughs> <laughs> I've been going the long way around, haven't I? Yeah, you're a very long way away, yeah. <laughs> sure. All right, well, um, yeah, so this year, 2024, what do you think we're going to see when it comes to updates? Do you think it's going to be a year of the gib? Do you think we're going to see a big summer update? Um, what do you think, John? Oh, well, the way things have been going, they've kind of rushed this one out, I bet, I feel. Um, the space stations are, are lovely, yeah. but they're still... The fact that they had that big update the other day and they still haven't fixed ship colours in multiplayer. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah it's, it's, the, that was kind of the main selling point, I felt, and it's still kind of broken. <laughs> I think it's just individual parts, though, because you've made some, that's fine. Yeah. But Kettle's made some and, and they're not. Yeah. Um, I can see some bigger updates coming. What we've had so far is good, but it's it's not that great for legacy players. No. Ship, uh, ship hunting's come into its own again. Like yeah. I, I I went ship hunting a while back, which I haven't done in ages, and that yeah. was fun. But yeah, I don't know. I I think I think we're going to get another one probably in in May. In May, I okay. reckon. Yeah, that's soon. Mm. Sure. Okay. Well, I, I, I expect we'll see an expedition come May. Oh, yeah. An expedition, expedition yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I think an expedition yeah. could be on the cards. And I think the Quicksilver items are going to come to, to an end in May. So they have to put something back in the Quicksilver store. So, yeah, I think quite a small quality of life update along with an expedition with Quicksilver items could be on the cards mm. at the very least. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we see uh, shuttles as a uh, ship being able to build shuttles. Yeah. Uh, along with the expedition. If they can work that into the expedition as well, so you have to make your own ship, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, yeah. Yogi, are you back from your phone call, or are you still off? I think he's still off. Still off. Well, oh, he's... while he's while he's away, you should just unblow the crap on him. You can do. Uh, so, Mio, uh, Kettle, what do you what do you think for the rest of the year, mate? Um, I think I think it took them what a year or so to put space stations in. Yeah. Um. I don't think there's any other leaks of stuff that's coming, is there, at the moment, so... Not really, no. I'm beginning to wonder, maybe it's, you know, it could be a, a lot further away for a, a major update. There's yeah. been no leaks, no game files. No. So it's a bit hard to tell, but we have a few dead ends, don't we, you know? It'd be nice to see, you know, the flamethrower in, for example. Yeah, the flamethrower, station overrides, oh. the myth beacons. Yeah, the emergency warp thing, for, for the one for the freighters. Um, yeah, the animus beam, more uses for that. You know? mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's kind of re redundant. Or oh, the, the station overrides. Yeah, like, the station yeah. overrides. <laughs> yeah. The Ariadne quest line, you know, she's still an imposter, isn't she? You know, there's loads. Cool. Well, I did do a poll over on my actual community tab, and I've done a video already that's in like a podcasty type format. It's available to my members. I'll be putting that live over the weekend with all of my in-depth thoughts and analysis and also what the community thinks as a whole from that poll. But yeah, I think this year is going to be quite an interesting year, mainly because this could be the last year that Hello Games has only got one game out there for people. You know, you know, there's an active game. I know that they've got The Last Campfire and Joe Danger, but they don't really count. They're toes so small. Light No Fire is going to be on par, I think, with No Man's Sky. And it's going to be competing for their attention in way of updates and regular updates like that, mm. perhaps. Yeah. So I'm really hoping that this <clears throat> last year they're either going to be giving us updates that puts more control over to the community, like give us maybe the ability to terraform planets, to bring back abandoned systems into life, all that sort of stuff. Anything that might help the community grow. And if we are terraforming our own planets, it'd be nice if we could put in maybe dual biomes on the planets, considering mm. 
Light No Fire's got loads of regions to that planet. Maybe they've worked out how to do that in No Man's Sky with yeah. just dual biomes would be yeah. nice. And uh, seed it with their own wonder plants. Yes. And, and animals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's, uh, that's that'd, that'd be, be brilliant, lovely. yeah. Yeah. And then rather than visit people's bases, you'd be visiting people's places. You'd be visiting their stations, their, their planets, their uh, system, in fact. Yeah, it'd be awesome, I reckon. Hmm. Oh, we've got we've got somebody joining us, Mr. Lightbulb Man. Hello, Mr. Lightbulb Man. What do you think? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Is, no is Miyogi full yet? <laughs> do you reckon? Uh, I, have you filled I him up know, with I've loads of stuff? Some... Have you? I am trying to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'll give him some stuff as well. Yeah. There we go. I'll give him some bits. It is his birthday. We've got to do it. Haven't we, we got. Yeah, we got to give him presents. Haven't presents. We? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. Presents from Miyogi. There we go. Presents. Do, 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 do. I don't need any S class modules anymore. Not with. There you go, I'm boning yeah, Miyogi. Four, four billion. Four billion on. bloody nanites now. <laughs> oh, he's got he's to have some refiners to do refining glitches, isn't he? Oh, there's loads of people around us. Yeah. Oh, loads of people have sat down with us now. You know what it is, isn't it? It's, the, it's Steve's cheesy fingers. Yeah, that does a. It's, just... bring, it's bringing them in. Yeah. Uh, milkshake to the yard or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Bring your cheesy milkshake to the yard. You can have that oh, cheese milkshake. <laughs> yeah. like Don't laugh, it's probably an American favourite. What else can you have? I've got so many refiners on me. Oh, I did have so many refiners on me. <laughs> That'll teach him to go over the dark side, won't it? He's not saying he's full yet. <laughs> he's doing pretty well out of this, isn't he? Yeah. Why is it frosty in here? Why have I got frost all around my screen? Oh yeah, on the outside, yeah. Now we've got Gido to sight. Everybody likes Gido sight. Give me that. <laughs> mm. Oh dear. I like to I like to see uh, you know to mix and match between putting shuttle parts on freighters and things like that. Frankenstein ships with a great laugh. When do you uh, yeah, fighters? When do you think what are you out. doing, you naughty people? I can see you. <laughs> it's your, it's it's quick, it's your, everybody go offline. It's, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> it's your birthday. My sister oh. wants to say hi to you all. Oh, hello. Come on, Tracy. Hi, your sister. Hello. Hi, hi. 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 Are you being daft or what? All the time. Oh, yeah, every time, yeah. <laughs> oh, we could have gone fireworks on the planet. You said that, oh, they yeah, said yeah, that yeah, daft all the time, Trace. Because you can't hear what they're saying, so... Uh. Oh, so they daft all the time? Hey, there's nothing wrong with a bit, a bit of madness, I tell you. You have to be bloody <laughs> mad to be a nurse. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Uh. Oh, are we off? Are we offline, gents? No. 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 Oh dear. <laughs> oh, sorry, twins and us. We had an extra member to the party, yeah. so <laughs> you're alive to the world. <laughs> you're ex to the world. world. Yes, yes. You're alive to the world, Trace. You know, she's been to dog doggy daycare today, haven't you, hon? And for a new job, you're getting rid of nursing and doggy daycare. And poor father, you've been sorting poor father up with his dementias and things. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, 29 years after looking after people, I've had enough of them. <laughs> 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 Fair enough. I've had enough of the damn thing to the nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. So, how did Doggy Daycare go on with Frankie? Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I was actually with Frankie. Yeah, Frankie was there. So, about twenty-five dogs, all different breeds. Very cute. Yeah. Very noisy, I should imagine. Great. It was good. It was good. Yeah. So the question is, have you have you got it or not? The job. Yeah. But oh, well I, I have to do, I have to have a good word with them on Sunday. I didn't have time today, because obviously, so I have to have a word with them, but I've got another half day session, not next week, the week after. Happy days. Oh, 
Nice one. Congratulations on your yeah. job, Tracy. Yeah. 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 They just, they just, uh, they just said happy. Uh, thank, uh, thanks. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to carry on with you and say thank you after they fill me up with inventory. Well. So sorry to, <laughs> sorry to twin, to, twin to web, uh, but uh, yes, uh, normal service is resumed. Well, I'll carry on conversations. <laughs> but if I don't come back and you've gone thingy, thank you for all your thanks and everything else. And, cool. Well, have a and, good. Uh, Captain C says bye Tracy. It'll all be recorded for you to watch. Cool. All right. Bye bye. Bye Tracy. Cool. So Sword was saying that my my inventory is triggering as O C D. So I've just gone through all of my tabs and expanded my inventory and just showed how bad it actually is. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't bother with inventory management. There needs to be an auto sort button. It's like these. If you oh, hold God, them yeah. down, it'd be nice if it actually shuffled them into that sort of category. So if I held it, it'd be nice if it put all my consumables at the top. And yeah, but no, we've still got no auto sort functionality. Yeah. And even Power World has auto sort functionality. Oh yeah, just just we well, afraid to be bloody useful. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But yeah. Uh... I used to have everything in in different vaults on my freighter. Yeah, I do try yeah. now and again. I spend about five days and give up. Oh, I haven't. <laughs> I've got a teleporter in there. I thought I did have a teleporter in there. Yeah, there's an antimatter beam. I've got a teleporter in there. That's weird. Yeah. Okay. Strange. Right. Anyway, peeps. Um, I think that's pretty much it for speculationy type stuff. I think there will be. A, I think there will be some more updates this year, and I think that we might see something special. Either in game in Summerfest, I think we might get some sort of announcement there. But if not, I think it'd be in the Games Awards, and I'm thinking it's probably going to be an update to Light No Fire, another trailer for Light No Fire, and then a little bit about No Man's Sky, a little bit like what we got last year is what I'm thinking. There has to be another trailer soon for No Man uh, for Light No Fire. I would have thought it's been a bit so. too long now, isn't it? Or some updates to the Steam page at least to say what the tech mm. spec is going to be. Yeah, even even something saying that's actually on PlayStation as a PC, mm. that'd be nice. Yeah, part of me something thinks that they might that. roll it out on PC first to do server testing and load testing, mm. and then roll it out to console later. Because every time a games company goes and develops a game on a games console on a dev kit, when it comes to putting it over to the PC, the port problems are freaking horrendous. <sighs> It yeah. makes more sense for a game developer like Hello Games, now that they know every platform, is develop it on the PC and then port it to the actual console. Was it Helldivers that went like that on the uh, PC really bad? Um, I don't know. Where, I think Yeah, I think so, yeah. Helldivers, but Helldivers is actually okay. It was more sort of like c Cyberpunk, um, <coughs> Dragon's Dogma. Um, oh, maybe it was Dragon's Dogma I was yeah. thinking of. Was, one of them was really bad. Yeah. PC port. Yeah. Well, they've, they've updated it since, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, it's not so bad now. Dragon's Dogma's getting well, there now. It's, it's like Starfield updates. They do, they're absolutely bloody useless. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Update everything but the game. <laughs> Starfield was a little bit broken on PC, but it was a little bit broken on, on most things. Yeah, I did pop back in and try it. And I still can't get the last uh, special power, because... Yeah, because... Yeah. <laughs> because... <laughs> It's broken. Yeah, fair enough. I haven't got that yeah. far. I haven't done any rebirths in that game. I was trying to catalogue the whole of the solar system and realised that virtually all of the solar system that has life is the same as on other planets. It's like, well, okay, this is No Man's Sky all over again. I might as well just play No Man's Sky. Yeah, and when they build a science outpost, it's exactly the same and all 20 or 30 planets is on. Yeah. With all the stuff in the same place. Yeah, I got to that mission in the story where you have to go see this girl on a planet and she's like, oh yeah, they left me all alone, I'm on my own. Oh yeah, that's then, brilliant, that one. That's two two minutes away, there was a whole freaking complex of people. Yeah. And, and I, oh yeah, I saw, seriously? yeah, I did that. I, yeah. After I did that mission, I sort of, I watched somebody else doing it and like it was like 75 metres over a hill. There was yeah. a whole <laughs> there's a whole valley of people and <laughs> scientists. And she'd been there like six years or something and it was like 75 metres over a hill. Yeah. There was a load of humans over there. Well, you know, you know what it is, don't you? It's kept going past Stonehenge. <laughs> ah, yeah. Could be that. She's lost. She just kept going the wrong way. <laughs> I, I swear, I go past Stonehenge on the way down. Yeah, I do. When I'm, going, when I'm going to Guildford for the meetup, we go past Stonehenge. I, I mean, I've, I've 
really don't know where you... I mean, I know Northampton <laughs> through Oxford. It's a straight no, line down to Winchester. Don't start talking about it. So again. I don't know where the hell you go. It was a yeah. joke. It was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> there's, like a, there's like a corner, like a big corner, and like a, a, like a bend that goes on for like ages. And as I'm going round that corner, it's on the right-hand side. You can actually physically see it from the road. Stonehenge. And I think it is the real Stonehenge. At least it, it could be a really, really crud house that just looks like Stonehenge. Yeah, OK. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think of any... I can't think of any... Was it the A43 section, is it? Or is know. it the... Road uh... names, cattle... It's the one out of Northampton that goes south. I don't know. You yeah. don't go up the M1, you go south oh, down the A43. Why, why did I say anything? Why did I say <laughs> anything? Who knows? Who knows? I, I, I think I go past... I go go out towards Toaster and Brackley and Silverstone. Keep going that oh, way. Silverstone, definitely, yeah. That's the A43, yeah. Yeah, and then heading past that. And then you get to Stonehenge. Keep going. And then you arrive <laughs> at Oxford. No, then then you join the, A40, uh, the M40 for right. one junction. Then you get to Oxford. Well, I, I put into my sat nav <laughs> to avoid all of the uh, congestion zones and the, the clean air stuff. So maybe uh, that's well, that's probably it then, yeah. yeah. Are you still. Sadiq Khan's probably <laughs> taking you through Stonehenge to keep you out of London. That's what it is. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Well, Oxford's nowhere near London. Not the Stonehenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. No. Well, anyway, I found Stonehenge. That yeah, ULES zone is bloody big these days. Yeah, yeah, it's getting crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah. I'm not surprised he hasn't been lynched yet. Yeah. Oh, Sword also wants the pirate ships to be makeable, the solar ships. I think if they do, oh, yeah. I think yeah. there's a chance they might do them in the pirate stations. <coughs> you know, because yeah, that would be cool. that, make more sense. I think they might give the pirate stations a little bit of a lift, maybe put a guild envoy in there, or maybe even add a pirate envoy in there. So, or an extra additional faction. Then I think they might even put in an autophage faction, but where would they reside? The realm of glass, maybe in the void, yeah, or maybe in abandoned stations, maybe you know, some sort of alternate reality. I don't know. Who freaking knows? There's so many ways that Hello Games can untap the potential in this game. Hopefully, they do a lot of untapping this year. That's all I can say, really. Anyway, people, thank you for watching and have a very good weekend. This week was dig up ancient bones. Yeah. You guys want to say goodbye? Cheerio. Bye. <laughs> Bye. See you all. And then Tracy delivers them to me.